Yo, what is good guys and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're gonna go vintage shopping. I know you guys do enjoy one of you guys with me. I got a text from one of my buddies who was just there. And he's like, yo, Paul, go ahead and check it out. There is a lot of stuff that's been added. And I have a couple hours today, so I figured why not? Let's go ahead and head over there and see what they have. But before we head out, I did just get a package arrived today. I do believe I have a couple more coming a little bit later on. But I didn't want to unbox this with you guys. This is the X199. And now one thing with the X denim is that I always size up. If you guys are ever looking for skinny denim, which I do believe there's always a place in the wardrobe for skinny denim. I do size up to a size 32 and uh, my normal size is a size 30 in like any other pair. And uh, yeah, it's just two pairs of denim today. And this is the X199 as well in the light blue colorway. Yo, what is it guys? So I just got here to the vintage shopping area and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really have any intention of looking for anything specifically per se. But with all that being said, I actually got to befriend a lot of the booth owners here and they told me that uh, they've gotten a lot of new product things that they think I would like. So uh, let's put their judgment to the test and uh, let's see what they have inside. Guys, I cannot say enough good things about Minimal's D212 denim. They really, really complement Dunks quite nicely. I digress. We are now going downstairs to where the good stuff is. I'm just pulling up the first area here. We have, I'm not sure what this is, Cape Cod chapter, Black Sabbath, front and back. Who remembers this band? If there's anybody old enough that follows me that knows who Linkin Park is. Oh, that JB shirt, you guys remember this? It's still sitting here. Nice fade. Hmm. It's paper thin. I don't know, is this, maybe this is real vintage. Let's go ahead and go back to that, uh, that one booth over here. It's a Jan Sport blank. I haven't seen that before. Lincoln Park again. Paul McCartney. Yeah, they definitely have a. Does this look familiar? Garth Brooks. Wait for it. Just like the rude tea. I'm 50-50 uh, I'm on the Garth Brooks tee. It's really colorful. Looks like they added a lot of stuff, a lot of jerseys. Let's see, let's see. This is really unique, actually. Look at the detail. I feel like this is gonna be so stupid. Let's try. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to reach these two t shirts. Maybe I can use this. Oh, yeah, maybe that'll work. I think I could probably grab it. Dude. Okay, so that's yeah, a band. Here's the back too. And there's also this white one. It's a giant XL. I think I'm gonna get this. It's actually pretty sick. But anyways, let's go ahead and transport ourselves over to the next spot. 
Whoa. All right, so uh, we are here now at a place across the street. Uh, wow, there is a lot of t-shirts here. And uh, I'm looking forward to pick through this stuff. Check this out, they added this Undertaker action figure. I don't know if you guys remember in the last vlog, but I did get the Sting and Hogan one. Ronnie, if you're watching this, let me know. I can come back and get this for you. What else we have here? So we have some new stuff added. I think that he puts his like best stuff, maybe his most expensive stuff here at the top. So the Bob Marley tee. Got Elvis here. The DXT, 35 bucks. Got some pretty serious cracking though. Oh, so Titanic, the greatest love story. Really great fade to it. I probably okay without it though. I've been amassing so many vintage tees. Let me know if you guys would be interested in me, uh, I don't know, like maybe posting them on my website or something. Oh, this is so sick. Rolling Thunder. Another DXT. This one doesn't have quite as bad a cracking. Here's a Marina Elton John Billy Joel T. Have the UK flag as well as the American flag there on the bottom. It's actually a really cool collaboration T, I feel like. Oh, I see a giant tag back there. Let's see that. What is this? This giant tag looks a little sus. Oh, here's a pocket tee too, Harley. I like that color a lot. It's over dyed. It's pretty nice. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, no, you're fine, you're fine. I'm just looking around. This is a sick Undertaker tee. It's way too small, but dang, that's sick. So I also decided to pull this t-shirt down. I don't know if it would fit me. It is a size large. That's a tag on it. All right, so uh, here's that t-shirt. It is uh, it's definitely boxy enough, but it's way too short. Like, who's this supposed to fit, dude? I'm like a short guy. I think we're kind of striking out at this booth. Well, this tee feels a little bit too small. So uh, here's that DXT. I wish this thing was double-sided. All right, so I got the product. We're gonna go ahead and check out and head over to the next spot. It's really interesting. I like never see Harley hoodies, except for here, like not even online. I guess it might help if I were to search it up, but uh, wow, there's a, a few Harley hoodies here. That's uh, kind of crazy to me. booths just around the corner over here this one's always really good wow they expanded it oh great fade this is massive though wow dude dude when i used to come here the tees were not that expensive they're all like marked up like substantially from before. Oh, this is so sick, Zelda. Some good stuff here, but I'm a little disheartened by the pricing. It's definitely gone up. This is a really sick fade. 70 bucks, dude. Oh man, I kinda wanna get it though. 40 bucks for a triple A blank. I mean, I found some decent ones here, but I don't want to try any of them on and like really like them because the prices are a little bit higher than I'd expect. All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our way out of here. I think I'm done vintage shopping here. It's just starting to get really, really hot in this area and uh, getting pretty hungry. I've been fasting all day and it's like four o'clock. It is freaking 
hot in here, dude. Oh, my lanta. Yo, what is good, guys? So, as it turns out, we don't have one package to open. We have two, uh, which uh, is quite a nice surprise. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and open the big one first. But, yeah, this one is from Minimal. And look at this. Look at this hollow, man. First up, we have the new everyday hoodie in, uh, in washed black. This is so fire. It's like a uh, vintage uh, aged black. And that actually goes with the shorts, which I took in a size small. And I did go for the entire set here as I did go for the sweatpants, also in a size small. And uh, at this juncture, you should be seeing some B-roll with them on. Super clean, I really, really, Love this color. Next up, we have the pajama flannel shirt. Oh man, it feels like Christmas. This one, as its name entails, uh, is a mixture of like a flannel and a, a pajama shirt. These are the pocket tape shorts. And uh, the reason being, they have a contrasting tape going down the side of the pocket. And I actually also got it in black here. And it's just like the reverse order. Next up, we have a louder piece. I wasn't sure uh, how I was gonna feel about these uh, based on the pictures, but uh, I'll let you know my first impressions. And you know what? I actually like these a lot more than I thought. Like, I like how light they are. They're like a really uh, light material, so uh, I'm not gonna get too hot in them. Yeah, the fabric's really nice. Yeah, surprisingly enough, I like them a lot more uh, than I thought I would. This pair is called the Everyday Hiking Shorts. It does feel like nylon, so um, if it's not water resistant, then it'll probably dry really fast. Moving forward, these are the Poly Cotton Walking Shorts, and these are so much sicker in person than, than I honestly thought they were gonna be, wow. Okay, so moving on to our last piece. This is the piece I was looking forward to the most. We have the Plaid Work Jacket, and wow, the insulating material on this garment, guys, is is killer. Like, the quality on this piece is, is honestly outstanding. And you know what? I almost goofed and forgot to show you guys what I purchased today while uh, vintage shopping. So, uh, just do this quickly. I did end up getting that DX shirt. I just like the way it fit. Unfortunately, it is single-sided, but... Uh, given the fact that it just fit well, and I feel like that's a that's a huge contributor for me, uh, I did decide to go with it, and then I did end up buying that white T-shirt in a size XL. I was a, a little bit foolish not to try this one on while I was there, so I hope it fits. It might be a little bit big.